So, is a cheap impact screen worth buying? Well, come in here, we'll have a look and see what my one's like after six months of use. This is the uh, screen that I purchased uh, back in May of the, this year, 5th of May, and the size that I that I uh, got was the 118 by 79 inch, which is uh, I think just under three meters by two meters. As you can see, the price is 244 Aussie dollars, which I think is around about the 160 to 180 US, I believe, and. The good old Great British Pound, I don't know. Um, I'm not 100% sure. I should do, but I don't. So this screen is obviously down the, the lower end of the range. Um, we'll have a quick look at some of these images, a little bit closer detail. I, I think we can honestly say that this is just, they're just the usual bullshit um, marketing images. Uh, you can see that the clarity and uh, yeah, the, the the type of rooms that these are, that they are displaying on their site here is absolutely just absolute load of wank. Really, you can see that it's just, <laughs> yeah. Anyway, they are what they are. Um, but you can see that the quality of studio that it looks like they're in is they're not going to be, they're not going to be wasting the thousands of dollars that they they built into their room with a with a two hundred and something dollar impact screen. And I think the hundred and eighteen inches is just under, as I said, three meters. There's absolutely no way that that screen is three meters wide. So, yeah, that pretty much confirms that the images are just fairy tale. That aside, the images that are also shown here, for example, so I just I didn't look at the, this one here, as you can see, like the, uh, <laughs> that's a high, high end studio. Um, yeah, that's going to have a high end impact screen. And so is this one. But these images here that are in the thing, they are, they are definitely genuine. That is the screen that you will receive if you purchase this one. I do ha did have a bit of a chuckle at the English. So we're going to enjoy big fun and realistic play golf with the golf impact screen. So that's 100% um, oh, wrinkle free. Uh, it's, yeah, I think if you had the screen and you crumpled up in your hand for five to ten minutes, it wouldn't leave any wrinkles. Uh, it does display the fold marks because this is actually how it arrives in the sort of parcel the satchel uh, folded up like this those fold marks that it will have they will remain there um, but wrinkle free yeah I, I think that's okay washable can't comment on that I haven't washed the screen so I, I don't actually know um, if you we zoom into these these are the eyelets the purpose-built eyelets that you uh, that, that are in the screen and also that is the exact material that is edging the screen um, so that is definitely accurate that's not rubbish um, I, I don't think yeah the other image is um, soft strong and wrinkle free made of a durable natural polyester fabric yeah I, I think that's definitely truth that's the truth there so look from an advertising perspective it's there, there's a there's a decent amount of truth in there anyway that is the screen that's where I bought it from Amazon Australian site this is the second cheap screen that I had, but really is completely different. The other one was a different material and the border was very, very flimsy and it didn't last more than about four or five months until there was a big split just here where I was hitting the balls all the time and the border came away as well. So anyway, we'll have a look at this one. So you can see this is the area where all the balls are getting smashed i mean and let's be honest too when you think about it this this bit of this 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 part of your simulator setup is the thing that cops all the beatings this is the one that does all the hard work and the heavy lifting in your setup if you're using an impact screen um it's getting balls hit at it you know could be hundreds at a time you know up to a hundred and something miles an hour um, and it's, <laughs> it takes more of a beating than Rocky Balboa's face. It's, um, yeah, it, it works bloody hard. So 
One of the things with the cheaper impact screens, um, and what I will do is I will show you with the, with the lights off, because you can actually see it a bit better, but you can see it along here, is that there are fold lines in this impact screen. Now, this has been up six months, and as you can see, those fold lines are still reasonably prominent. Although, when the, uh, when the image is being fired onto the screen, you really don't see them at all. So, what I would suggest with these cheaper screens is to, when you get them out of the, uh, out of your, out of the package that arrives, is to potentially try and iron out the creases before you hang it up. Or the other option that you could possibly do is to steam them when they're up using one of those steaming machines and hopefully the creases will fall out then. Um, I'm actually looking at this now, you can sort of see there's some, that's just a fold in the screen, that's a bit of a shadow there. So how this particular screen arrived, it arrived four eyelets, one in each corner. So there's one there, and I'm not going to go in and show the ones because it's a rectangle and they're all in each corner. So what I needed to do, so rather than iron it, which I probably should have done, I decided to put a knife through each of these additional holes here. So I've got a cable tie there with a bungee, with a tarp cord, I think they call them over here in Australia. But one of the things I did notice that there's the area which really is probably the, it's about two thirds up of the screen where the balls actually are hitting all the time. This is where I've actually tensioned it and you'll see, actually, if I, if I go back to this side, you'll see that the, um, uh, you can't see any along this bit here, you can't see any of the fold lines because that's where I've got it tensioned the most. But consequently, when you tension something, you have the chance for a bit of failure happening. So the stitching is starting to go. And if I go to the other side over here, which is exactly the same height, you'll also see the stitching starting to go there. It's also starting to go down here a little bit as well. But further down, it's not so, oh, there's a little bit there as well. So the stitching is starting to go and that is due to the, I would suggest the, the tensioning that's been put onto the, onto the screen. But that te tensioning has been put on there, A, because I didn't want to see the, the, uh, the folds and also I wanted to, um, have a good image when I'm watching sport or movies or whatever else. So anyway, moving on. So out of the four uh, purpose-built eyelets I've got, I've got one, two, three, four, 18 additional holes that I've actually had and I've made into the screen. So that basically is the screen. It's, it's a very shiny sort of material. It uh, is actually quite thick, a lot thicker than the other cheap one that I bought. And what I have behind it is an archery screen. And the archery screen is there for additional protection. This is probably the first time I've had a look at it close up since I've put it in. And there really is no signs, there's no fraying, there's no signs of anything. The other thing I noticed as well is that the stitching, the stitching is all very, very good. It's really good quality. The other one I got was a piece of shit. And they missed the edges. You could, they, they, they didn't keep the distance between the stitching and the edge kind of equal. So it didn't have the same strength all the way through. The stitching on this one is absolutely first class. Um, the other band on the other side is a, a thick material. So anyway, that's my six monthly review of my $200 screen. So, would I buy the same impact screen again? Uh, probably would. I think the value for money for this particular screen and the condition of it after six months, yeah, I think it's worth the money. Am I gonna buy the same screen again when this one fails? No, I'm not. I'm going to upgrade to a more high-end impact screen. I've been on this journey of, uh, of my golf simulator for the last 12 months, and it's probably the area that I've not really invested the money in and I think now after the amount of use that I've had with, with the setup and what it gives me, um, investing in the high-end impact screen is time. So, but if you're starting off on this journey and you're really not sure whether it's all gonna work out and you know, you're not sure you wanna spend a grand on, a, on an impact screen that you know, it might not work out, this particular screen 
he's a very, very good option. Um, yeah, I can't fault the quality really. Um, it, it's it's held up pretty good.